What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. This is my my little shop here. Got me a CNC, the Onefinity. Uh, it's taking some measurements and setting everything up before we get started here. Putting the right bits and homing. So this is the dash of a uh, 24 foot blue wave. This is the what it comes from the factory. Uh, he wanted to transform it, and this is how it turned out. Spoiler alert, right? But I wanted to show you uh, the final product before I show you how to make the final product. Yeah, this one turned out super clean. It's got the inlay lettering. Uh, that way you can backlight it if you want. Uh, but first of all, we send we send the customers some renderings to make sure that they like the design before we hit cut. Um, if you if you look here, there's two simrads in these because he plans on putting another one on the dash soon. Uh, so I went ahead and showed him where it would look like and it fit it for that future edition. Uh, some of the difficulties with this, there's a uh, fiberglass behind. Sometimes you have to cut. In this case, we had to cut a little uh, to make everything fit and work. Uh, but the first thing I do to make sure everything fits perfect is uh, basically make a template. So here I have some very thin, cheap uh, wood I get from Lowe's. And uh, it's, like a, it's like a backer board or something and uh cuts easily doesn't mess my bits up and uh, i'm able to take this and uh, fit it onto the dash uh, as you see i, I use this double-sided tape it's uh super handy with this kind of stuff it prevents the material from moving around the bed of the machine if you have any movement the cuts won't be straight so uh, i put this double-sided tape down make sure it's adhered correctly uh, flip the board over, and uh, you'll see my clips there on the top. Towards the rail there. I'll put those down as well, and secure everything again. So tape plus the clips. Uh, there's a lot of force on these CNCs. These things are strong, and uh, if your material's moving around, your your cut's going to be destroyed. And when you're cutting into expensive acrylic and making precise cuts like this, everything's got to be perfect. So that's why. I, I take these tedious steps to uh, to make sure everything's done correctly. And then here I'm uh, swapping the bit out. Uh, Lots of different bits on this. I'm making a profile cut, which is just the uh, it's just the outline vector of the template that's going to be going onto the deck. And this next part you'll see here, this is what's called probing. This is where you get your, uh, this is where the machine knows where it's at and the material, where the material's at on the surface of the, uh, of the plane of where the material lies on the machine bed. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to get your X, Y, and Z axis. So uh, Z being vertical and then X and Y is uh, left and right, up and down. Right. So here it goes down, checks it feels it through an electrical circuit through that probe. Uh, so basically the controller uh, sends a circuit through. Um, if you see at the top, the magnet connects to the collet. And then once it makes contact with that, with that probe block there, it sends another signal through and it completes the circuit and sends a signal through the bottom line and uh, essentially tells it where it's at uh, based on some pre-measure uh, distances from the size of that probe block. Sounds complicated, but uh, once you do it once or twice, it makes sense. And uh, it looks like we're ready to cut now. So I just turned the uh, I just turned the the router on, 
and here it goes. Yeah, I know, it's like watching paint dry, but now, uh, so we got our template popped out. Uh, this is what it looks like on the dash. Uh, fit it, put it on there, send some pictures to the to the customer, make sure they like it. Make sure all the, uh, make sure all the holes that I cut out are perfect, and then make sure all the, uh, the lettering is correct, how they want them. So some people like their, like their lettering a certain way. I don't know, they like their horn to be switch number three blah 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 uh, but yeah so make sure they like everything before i hit cut that was the final rendering um, and this is actually cutting the acrylic now so uh, what you'll see now is the is the real deal this is the the final product that's getting cut um so no no more no more room for error uh, you, just, you just pray that this thing does its job correctly and it does most of the time. The CNCs are pretty pretty reliable, as long as you keep your software updated and and stay uh, proficient at running the software. Uh, you, you can do a pretty good job with it. It's very it's very rare that they make mistakes. Uh, to 99 percent of the time, it's user error. Uh, but some people they do have controllers fail, but it's very seldom. So this in particular is my uh, it's my favorite part. So what you see here, this is called an inlay. So what I did was I reversed engraved, I reversed engraved letters on a piece of clear acrylic um, with a black backer, and then I painted white paint, um, acrylic enamel paint inside of the uh, the backer there, and then I put some some CA glue down and. Uh, yeah, the tolerance is insane on these things. So sometimes you get lucky and it slides right in. Uh, other times you have to pick a hammer to it, which you'll see here in a second. I, it was it was pretty stout. I didn't think it was going to fit. You got kind of lucky. Sometimes if it's too tight, you'll have to you have to sand it down a little bit and then hit it with a torch and and just make it work. But uh, you see, we, we were able to save this one. Put a little tape over it to protect it. Very sensitive stuff. It scratches super easy. I think that's actually a piece of polycarbonate. The clear stuff is polycarbonate, but you're setting it inside of a piece of acrylic, which is cast and scratches easy. Uh, but there we go. Now it's in there. Once it's glued in place, I don't. If it's in there, it's in there. But man, it just looks sick when you do this. It's so satisfying to see this. It, uh, it really shows the, the precision of a CNC. And uh, it's almost addictive. Once you, once you learn how to do it, you see the stuff that you can create with it. It's, it, it, feels, it feels awesome to, to be able to make stuff like this. But uh, it'll look clean here in a second once I get this plastic cover off of it and give you a zoomed in shot.
So obviously before this thing goes on the boat, you gotta make sure everything fits. Uh, like I said, mistakes are made. Uh, luckily, everything fit perfectly right here. Getting all the dust off of it. That acrylic is its sensitive stuff. You don't want any dust on it. It scratches so easy. But looks pretty dang clean. Much cleaner than my, my workshop here with crap everywhere. There's a close up. Still some fingerprints on it, but you get the idea. It's gonna look sick once it's installed. And if you want to pause it there, you can see the uh, you can see the detail on the inlay. How it just really looks nice. Once again, there's the inlay too. Uh, but what I was emphasizing here was <laughs> how the his dash from the factory was wasn't symmetrical. It was about a quarter inch higher on the uh, the right side than it was on the left. So I just lined everything up to the top of the console because the bottom lines just weren't perfect. And I don't know. I sent it to him and let him know. But now here I'm just I'm fitting everything, making sure everything fits properly, and uh, make sure we've trimmed all the trimmed all the fiberglass behind the uh, behind the components that we need to remove. Make sure we get a good fit before we uh, start screwing in and uh, sealing it up with 4,000 or 4,200 silicone adhesive sealant. Uh, so this part here, this is uh, this is the most tedious part, uh, which is putting tiny screws in a piece of acrylic and making sure everything's secured properly. So if you've never drilled into acrylic before, uh, it will crack if you just take a. It's like gel coat. If you ever try to drill in the gel coat, it just sends big chips flying and looks like crap. Uh, so. If you take your drill bit, apply very light pressure with fairly high RPMs, you can basically heat the bit up a little bit with some friction, and it'll start sliding right through that acrylic like butter. And you'll know the sweet spot because you'll you'll get some you'll basically get one long chip flying out. Um, you know, basically a melted a melted piece of acrylic flying off your bit and uh, just got to be careful you can't put too much torque on the screws you also can't really thread acrylic that well uh, so if you're going to drill into it and then put screws in it uh, so all those outer screws you see that are actually holding it to the dash those are drilled out bigger than the threads uh, those are not threaded at all but these tiny holes right here where I'm the stem right in where there's no good glass behind it to grab onto if you have this 3 8 or you have the half inch acrylic you can you can drill a hole slightly smaller than the diameter of the uh, of the screw, and uh, you can you can worm a little bit of threads in there, and it will hold just fine. Um, just be very cautious. It is really easy to crack acrylic if you if you try to try to flex it and screw up and thread some screws into it. Uh, I'd say heating up the screw would definitely be uh, a, a safe bet, uh, but definitely you don't you don't want to you don't want to treat it like it's wood and just expect the uh, the screws to thread into it perfectly because they're not. It's gonna chip. It's gonna chip before anything. I'd, I'd treat it like gel coat. But it takes a little practice, but once you do it a couple times, you understand it. You get to learn the material, and there's a little finesse behind it. In this case, it worked out.
And that's uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Uh, that's the whole install there, and uh, from start to finish, making an acrylic panel on a CNC. Uh, here's some pictures and some videos at the end. Uh, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you think, and subscribe for more.